I'm Jeff Underwood. I'm the department chair for geology and geography here at Georgia Southern University. One who uh, obtains a BS or BA in geography has many job opportunities. For example, a number of our graduates and graduates that I've seen in the past work for a number of government agencies analyzing digital data that is, re that is recorded from uh, satellites for national security purposes. Uh, there are a number of graduates and uh, others that I have worked with in the past who work uh, with companies that do environmental reclamation. There are others that work in city planning and, uh, and others that also work in uh, fields such as uh, real estate, using uh, GIS, for example, to uh, map and track real estate prices and, uh, and the availability of real estate and those sorts of things. So uh, with a geography degree, whether it's a human geography degree or a, or a physical geography degree, uh, it is a very employable field. And GIS in particular, or geotechniques in particular, which includes GIS and remote sensing, which is the use of satellite data for analysis, those job markets are increasing. Uh, they've been estimated to increase by nearly 100% per year for the last decade. So those jobs are in high demand, and we uh, place a number of our GIS miners in those types of positions. The coursework that one undertakes for a geography degree, whether BS or BA, often is broken down into two sub-disciplines. One is physical geography, the other is human geography. Physical geography deals with the spatial distribution of the physical aspects of the earth. And those are usually thought of as, as the vegetation, the landforms, and the climate that impacts the earth's surface. One can also study human geography, and that is the study of the distribution of human activity uh, across space. And that includes looking at urban spaces and how humans have built that space uh, and how that space impacts how one behaves, how one works, and uh, things of that sort. Research in those areas include, for example, crime rates in cities and how the built environment impacts those crimes. Human geography also can incorporate things such as uh, the geography or the spatial patterns of migration, looking at how and where people go, uh, whether it's uh, uh, analyzing the movements of Midwesterners towards the West during the Dust Bowl or looking at refugees moving away from uh, war zones. Uh, those sorts of things are considered human geography. Also included in that realm is economic geography, and also city planning. So we also offer a GIS minor. GIS is a computer-based digital mapping and analysis format. It allows for dynamic mapping for analysis and uh, it advances very quickly in its technology and its ability. Uh, GIS now has the ability to track data that is collected from uh, cell phones, from uh, other devices that individuals use, and uh, many geographers, including a number on our staff, use that data to research questions such as how people move in a city, what is the most efficient movement patterns in particular areas, and those sorts of things. The faculty here at Georgia Southern, the geography faculty, are engaged in uh, a number of research projects. We do a, a varied portfolio of research here and it is both human and physical and uh, students find that uh, the field work is very rewarding and fun so one of the things that we have uh, increased in the last four years is the number of students involved in research and we have students as I said publishing papers in scientific journals making presentations at uh, professional conferences and getting a really high-impact learning experience while they're here in the geography department